Okay, probably the most disgusting. This is really disgusting and it looks really gross. Wait, are you scared? Yeah. Are you scared of driving this way? Yeah. Oh my goodness, this scared me. Okay, so we are out here by the truck and about to do something that I've been dreading for probably the past six months. So we, when we moved here um, to North Dakota about a year ago, we just kind of let the kids eat in our truck. It's probably a huge mistake. We usually like try not to let them eat in there because if you have kids and you let them eat in your car, then you know it's, it's really disgusting really quick. Anyways, we have a huge tour ahead of us because it's been winter here. I've let the kids eat in the car. We have not cleaned this truck out in at least six months and I am not looking forward to it. I'm actually terrified to see what's in there. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back here and literally there is so much stuff in this truck. I am kind of grossed out. I brought four garbage bags. I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough. We have like clothes, shoes, kids toys, garbage. It's actually really disgusting. And I feel actually really embarrassed that I'm letting you guys see this. But this is real life and that is what we're filming for. <laughs> Okay, this is absolutely more messy than I was expecting. <laughs> and I knew it was gonna be bad. Okay, so we are trying to clean this out and it is just, is it is it disgusting or what, Shiloh? It's disgusting. <laughs> There's so much stuff in here. If you guys let your kids eat, in your vehicle i want you to let me know i'm gonna put like a little pole up here or up here or wherever it'll be i want you to let me know if you let your kids eat in the car or if that's like something that you don't do because i've tried to figure out if it's okay to do or not but right now cleaning out this truck i'm like what was i thinking like <laughs> all right back to work okay a rock why is there rock in my truck back here. I will never know. An old missing winter jacket? An old muffin cover? A red rubber boot? Oh, Shepard's little bunny that I thought we lost like six months ago. Everyone needs a mason jar. Don't forget little magnet ducky friend. Okay, probably the most disgusting. A hard old bagel. I don't know how long that's been under there. What? Smells like a long time. Sorry. Want some cookies? Nunchucks. Christmas ornament. Apparently we get mail delivered back here too. Literally, this was underneath one of the kids' car seats. Well. It's so gross, it's so gross. Like, obviously we need a vacuum in here. Oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed that you guys are seeing this. I am like actually really horrified right now. <laughs> I know that this is really disgusting and it looks really gross. So I'm really sorry about that. But I think if you have a lot of kids, you're gonna be like, oh, I'm not the only one. I don't know. Anyways, I hope that I'm not the only one whose car looks like this if, I, um, if you have kids. So if your car has looked like this before, let me know in the comments. Oh my goodness, this scared me. What is this? This scared me. Okay, seriously you guys. Oh, where'd it go? Okay. So I'm reaching in underneath the seats and I feel something fuzzy. I feel something really creepy, really fuzzy under the seat of my truck. And when I... I like screamed, but it was like fuzzy baby socks and it freaked me out. We had a rat in this car probably two years ago when we lived in Montana. It freaked me out that this was like, ah, oh, because there's like food in here from the kids. Okay, I'm having flashbacks now, but back to business. Woo! Okay. 
we're making some kind of progress. I have, <laughs> those seats are so impacted down from the car seats. It's actually really funny. The, the pretend rat. <laughs> um, no, let's keep those. They might fit Shepard's feet. Okay, so as I'm cleaning this out, I'm the seat that we had the rat under a couple of years ago. I never want to look under that seat. It always freaks me out and it still has like a smell. Oh, it's disgusting. But anyways, this is the seat. It's actually the one that Shepard sits on. So I'm going to let you guys see what's under there first because I'm scared to look under there. <laughs> what is under there? Oh. Okay. Okay, I don't see a rat. <laughs> I see garbage you guys what is up with all the garbage I, I didn't even know ah. Ah. oh my gosh ah oh so disgusting this is pretty much where we are right now. Every single thing on the outside of our truck. And yeah, that's where we're at. I have to say something. What? I was expecting it to be a lot like longer before you get to this part. But you see, like, we're damaged. Yeah, look at this. So that was like, this is like clothes and stuff. The kids had just stuff like falling out of the seats and all this garbage. Like it's, it's just actually really embarrassing. So since I'm getting all of the car seats taken out of the car right now and I'm going to clean them up, I'm thinking about actually putting the car seats in here how I want to for our trip. When we go on our trip, I think I'm going to put Hanny and Shepard and Ezra in the very, very back. Um, I have to keep Ebby and Shepard separated because Ebby just is not very kind to Shepard all the time, so I don't want them next to each other in the car. So I might go ahead and rearrange car seats as well. This is turning into like an event. It's way messier than I thought. So I apologize again for everyone that has seen the mess. It is so disgusting. Here, Ed, Hannah will sit here. Papa will sit here. Make sure I'm going here. And Chad's going here. And Kai's going here. And, and Kai's going here. No. Shiloh has been in the same spot since my he was a baby, life. pretty much. My whole life. <laughs> I like this spot. So he doesn't want to trade, but I want him to be up in the middle on a no, trip. I'm so I'm that one in there. <laughs> like, no. I, got, I found this pirate sword on the ground. Did you? Right here. That's cool. It's, a, it's look, right here looks sharp. It does. Here comes Kai. He's bringing out the vacuum because we just discovered there's actually a plug out here. Which will be perfect. Got it. Okay, so I'm sitting here on the ground. It is time to fix the kids' car seats. I had um, some kids who have outgrown like the, the shoulder length of their straps on their car seats. So I'm going to fix those before I put them back in the truck. Yeah. I love Diano car seats. We have three of them. Um, they work awesome because they fit three in a row of pretty much any vehicle. But um, they're really painful to adjust when your kids like outgrow the length. So, anyways, <laughs> let's see if Ezra fits. Yeah, sit right there. Okay, let's check it out now. Here, put your arm in. There you go. Oh yeah, that's way better. So when your kid forward faces they the strap is supposed to be above um and i think it is now it's doing its job any below and it was like two below so he has a lot to grow does it feel comfy like that yeah okay I'm just saying it's taking forever. It is taking forever. It's taking forever to do this and we've just been taking out trash. It's been interesting. I'm vacuuming right now and we're getting close to actually like putting the seats back in. So hopefully in a few minutes here. 
Okay, so I have a little bit of a problem. I had planned on putting Shepherd's car seat in the way back, as you can see. Um, however, his car seat is not a Diano, so it's not one of the skinny ones. And this is all the room it leaves on this seat, so it's not gonna fit. Um, because the middle seats up here are a lot wider, like the truck's wider in the middle. So I'm gonna have to put him up here still. So I'm not sure how that's going to play into our travel plans, because I plan on having him in the back with Hanny. So, yeah, we'll just, I don't know, I'm just going to have to put it back up here and we'll just have to rearrange things, just do it however it comes, because at this point, I'm exhausted from <laughs> cleaning out this truck and putting car seats in, cleaning car seats, putting car seats back in your truck is like a daunting task and I think any parent probably can like understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> Wait, are you scared? Yeah. Are you scared of driving this way? Yeah. It's okay. I wanna. Okay, okay. Uh, you wanna sit in the back? Yeah. Here, can you tell me what's scary? Uh, look, look out there. Uh, no. Okay, come here. Do you wanna sit right there? Yeah. Is that not <laughs> scary? Oh, honey. Oh, I have to back. I have to back the truck up and he's like terrified of sitting in the, he's terrified of sitting in the seat over there and I have to back the truck up. You wanna try sitting? No. Do you, okay, climb back there then. Oh no, I can't. Okay, ready? Kaya? Yeah. Is there nothing or no kid or no one behind me? Keep watching. I'm always scared I'm gonna hit a kid in this giant truck because I can't see behind me. You okay back there, Abby? Okay, so I think we are done. Ooh, my camera. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys what I did because you're probably wondering. Um, the sun is in my eyes. So, this is the nice clean truck. I'm so excited. We obviously have stains, but oh, it looks so pretty. So I decided in the back that I'm gonna put Shiloh and Ezra, and Hanny will sit there in this spot. We'll have Shepard in there, Kai in the middle, and Ebenezer oh. right there. Just so that should work whoa, out. Whoa. We'll have, have the back for storage. And obviously Jason and I, but it's so clean. Wait, I oh, have it's been a while since it's been clean, so it feels so, 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 so nice. Anyways, I gotta drive the truck down to the garage because we've got to sweep up the concrete here. All right, well, I think we are done with the whole truck situation. I'm really happy, I'm really excited. This is one step closer to us being done and ready for our move, so let's go. <gasps> Hi, baby. Look at you. He was out here playing the whole time with Hanny. Love you. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Did you just wave to me? Bye. Bye bye, Pepper. Shepherd, say bye bye. Oh, yes. <gasps> Did you find an eggie? No, Abby, it's okay. <gasps> Whoa, what did you find? Oh, he looks so surprised. <gasps> what did you find? Ah. What is it? He's like, that was cool.